Before we begin to look at the formation of eclipses, let us first of all describe what an eclipse is. An eclipse occurs when light from the sun is cut off from reaching the earth or the moon. An eclipse is also said to have occurred when there is total or partial disappearance of the sun or the moon from the earth due to movements and the relative positions of the earth and the moon. The occurrence of eclipse also shows that light travels in a straight line. Now let us delve into the formation of eclipses. There are three types of eclipses. These are, 1. Solar eclipse, also known as eclipse of the sun. 2. Annular eclipse, also known as eclipse of the earth. 3. Lunar eclipse, also known as eclipse of the moon. Let us proceed by looking at how each one of the eclipses occurs. Solar eclipse. Solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes between the sun and the earth and the moon casts both total shadow and partial shadow on the surface of the earth. In a solar eclipse, the total shadow is known as umbra and the partial shadow is known as penumbra. People in the umbra region see total eclipse and those in penumbra see partial eclipse. When solar eclipse occurs certain places which are in the daytime turn into night as the moon casts a shadow at those places. That is to say, solar eclipse occurs at places which are supposed to be in the daytime. Annular eclipse. Annular eclipse is the type of solar eclipse that occurs when the moon is positioned further away from the earth and the umbra does not fall on the earth. Since the moon revolves round the earth in non-perfect circle it is sometimes positioned so far away from the earth. In such a situation, the umbra does not reach the surface of the earth, hence people at the center of eclipse observe a halo of light around the disk of the moon. Lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse occurs when the earth comes between the sun and the moon and the earth casts both total shadow and partial shadow on the moon. Here the shadow of the Earth is cast on the surface of the Moon. Because the Earth is large in size, the shadow is also broad. The Moon therefore takes a longer period to cross over the shadow. The part of the Earth which is not directly exposed to the Sun, is supposed to be in nighttime. Not that lunar eclipse occurs only when there is a full Moon. However, not all full Moons result in lunar eclipse. That's the end of the lesson. Thanks for watching but don't forget to subscribe.